In this video, we are going to talk about a shear plot, a plot that is linearized from a series of parallel rectangular hyperbola. In the last video, we covered the model of the competition between agonist and an antagonist. An EC50 of the rectangular hyperbola is KD times 1 plus concentration of the antagonist over Ka. Kd and Ka are two constants in the system, and uh, the higher concentration of the antagonist, the larger the EC50, meaning that the higher concentration of the antagonist, the further the curve will shift to the right. In the absence of the antagonist, we can draw a rectangular hyperbola like this, and uh, this is when A is zero. And if you have a EC50, You have a log EC50. From this EC50, you can calculate the dose you need to achieve 50% of the maximal response. If you have another system in which the antagonist has a higher concentration, the curve will shift to the right. The new curve is parallel to the original curve, but it has a higher log EC50. From this log EC50, you can get another concentration of dose that can lead to a 50% of response. So now we have to introduce a term that is used in the chilled plot. It is called the dose ratio. As the name suggests, dose ratio is the ratio of two doses. And one of the two doses is this one. It is the EC50 when there is no antagonist. The other dose is this one. The EC50 when there is a certain amount of antagonist. If you keep increasing the concentration of the antagonist in the system, the curve will shift to the further right. You will have another new log EC50. And there is a new dose ratio. On the bottom of the fraction, it is still the EC50 in the absence of antagonist. But on the top, it is the EC50 you just got when the concentration of antagonist is C2. You can keep increasing the antagonist in the new system, and you will have another curve. By the same token, you will have another dose ratio. So you have dose ratio 1, 2, 3, which correspond to different concentrations of antagonist. And then you plug log dose ratio minus 1 against log A. So on the y-axis, log dose ratio minus 1. On the x-axis is the log antagonist. If the shield plus is valid, it should be a straight line that has a slope of 1. And the x-intercept is log Ka. This is how the chilled plot is constructed. In order to have a valid chilled plot, here the dose response curves should be parallel and they need to have the same Q max. In the chilled plot, log antagonist is on the x axis, but in the original plot, log agonist is on the x axis. 